Hi, welcome to BetterBeatShots.com. In this sample video, I'll show you how to quickly adjust and prep your bead photos for the web. The first step is we come down here to Adjustment Layers. We go to Levels. And with the levels, you can adjust the contrast by controlling the darks and the lights and the midtones. And the closer you push them together, you can see the higher the contrast is. Obviously that's way too too much contrast, so we're gonna push them back a little bit to find the right place. That's pretty bright right there. It's pretty dark right there. And that looks good. Click OK. Now if you go to adjustment layer level one, levels one, you turn it off and on to see the difference. And that's the nice thing about doing adjustment layers is the fact that you're able to turn them on and off and even lower the opacity if you need to. Okay. The second step is to adjust the hue saturation. Just like the other one, go to adjustment layers, go to hue saturation, and whenever you adjust the levels and increase the contrast, that also increases the color, so the colors don't look natural. One way I found to avoid this is to go to adjustment layers, hue saturation, click on the saturation, Lower that just a little bit and it gives it more of a natural hue. Right there. So we turn it off, turn it back on. As you can see, well, let's increase because that is a really bright blue. Let's give it just a little bit more. We just don't want it to look electric. And actually take out this. Um, mandrel that I have holding up the speed. So we zoom in. We're going to use the clone tool. Looks like a little stamper. Click on it. Clone stamp tool. You hold Alt for sample from the place you want to sample the pixels from. And then actually make sure you're on the right layer. So what I do is I make a copy of the background layer. So in case if I screw up, I still have the original layer that I'm able to uh, start over from. So hold Alt, click, and then go over to where you want it to paint. This comes in handy when you're dealing with a gradient background. And although it doesn't seem to have too much of a gradient at this level of the background, there still kind of is one, and it's a way to... Ooh, because if I clicked up here and tried it, see how it's darker? Because the gradient's darker. So I went up here in the history to erase that. There we go. So now we took out the thing that was holding it up, come over here to the hue saturation, turn all off. That's what we started out with. That's what we have. All right, we're almost done. Our next step is to crop it. What I usually do is I go 400, 400 px times 400 px at 72 dpi, which it's already at. Now, when I crop this, it's going to be exactly 400 by 400 at 72 dpi. You can change it to be whatever you want it to be depending on where you're uploading your photos. But I think 400 by 400 is kind of a standard size. We zoom in. There we go. So now let's flatten it. And now your bead is ready to be uploaded to whatever website 
your own website or Etsy or any of those other websites where you sell your jewelry or post your art. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. And for more uh, bead photography tips and Photoshop tips and just about anything else, that's lamp work bead promotional type stuff, uh, please go to betterbeadshots.com. www.betterbeadshots.com. Thanks.